Alpha-S, low latency, low loss, scalable throughput technology is a game changer for cloud gaming, and because it tackles the critical issue of latency, it may very well be the future of how we all play. But if you're wondering exactly what its benefits are, well, there's three points. As I just said, the most critical one is reducing latency. What L4S tries to do is minimize network congestion. It's a major source of latency, and it does so by providing precise feedback to applications about network conditions. What this allows is for applications to adjust their data transmission rates more effectively, which in turn reduces delays. The second point is that it minimizes jitter, or variations of latency, and this is what usually causes stuttering and lag in games. It basically tries to optimize to maintain a consistent low latency, which in turn results in smoother gameplay. And the third and other very important benefit is that it decreases packet loss. This often leads to interruptions in games, and it occurs when packets fail to reach their final destination. L4S purposefully helps reduce queuing and packet loss, ensuring a much more stable and reliable connection. Mix it all together and you get a more stable, smoother, and responsive gameplay experience when playing in the cloud. But when exactly can we expect L4S to come into fruition? Well, for some of us lucky few, it's already out. Comcast has officially started rolling out the new latency reducing technology to certain select cities. The plan is to eventually roll out the feature to all its Xfinity internet customers and for it to expand from there. According to their spokesperson, it has proven that they were able to reduce working latency and latency under normal conditions in the home when people are using the internet by up to 78%. Best of all, GeForce Now is already prepared and ready to take advantage of L4S technology. You simply gotta go into your GFN settings, enable adjust for poor network conditions, and then enable L4S itself. You'll know it's working by hitting Ctrl N in a GeForce Now instance to see your in-stream statistics. It'll indicate L4S as either being a dash, active, or inactive. The dash would indicate an unknown state of L4S support for your network and will be the expected starting value for all networks. Active is of course confirmation of L4S support being on your network and inactive the opposite. Now I wish I could tell you how L4S actually feels to play on, but sadly I don't live in a supported region for that sort of technology yet. But to those of you who do, I would love to hear your thoughts on how GeForce Now runs with it on compared to it off. L4S has been rolling out since late 2024 and I figured I'd make a video on it for those who aren't aware of its existence. If you are one of the lucky few who do have access to it, let me know down in the comment section below. Has it proven to be beneficial for your experience? Regardless, I appreciate you watching the video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button, want more like it, subscribe and hit that notification bell as well. As always, this has been Steven from Anytime Anywhere Gaming. I hope you have a great day and until next time, I'll catch you in the clouds.